What's up, co-reporters? Welcome back to my channel. Nick Cannon's baby mama, Brie Tishi. Oh, Lord have mercy. She said something a little bit foolish in an episode of Selling Sunset this season. I haven't yet gotten to the episode, which is why I haven't discussed this, but her own lawyer is clapping back and calling her Boo Boo the Fool. And it hurts my soul because if you've been watching my recaps, then you know I keep saying I am loving her on the show. She is a breath of fresh air. She's so exciting and she's a natural, I don't want to say villain, but like bad B, you know? So apparently on episode seven of season six, Brie claims that Nick Cannon no longer is technically required to pay child support because he's got 10 kids. And this is a direct quote from her from the episode, according to ET Online. The way it works is like after 10, the court can basically say he can't afford to pay child support or because of who he is, they could say, we know you can afford X amount for each household. So this quote went viral. People were basically saying, wow, according to Nick Cannon's own baby mama, he is not legally required to pay child support. So at this point, this is when her lawyer comes and says, girl, child, let me handle this, okay? Her lawyer... <laughs> Nima Romani tells Us Weekly in an exclusive statement, Brie, you should know better. Can you imagine that, you guys? You were paying someone on retainer on a monthly basis, and they go to a magazine to tell you you should know better, and you were a damn fool. Oh, my God. I'd be sick. I'd be in the bathtub in my clothes running the cold water over my face. Like, what is happening? Um, so anyway, her lawyer continued on to say, that is absolutely not true. There is no cap on child support based on the number of children. So to the extent that Nick Cannon can have babies, he owes child support for those babies under California law. Um, so the lawyer also said, I was clarifying that Nick has a legal obligation to pay child support under California law. I didn't address whether the mothers of his children have requested child support or whether Nick has paid it to Brie or others. So apparently the kind of layout or, or um, agreement that Nick has with the baby mamas is they keep him off of official child support and just ask him whenever they need something and he will provide that for them and the children. Pretty much no questions asked apparently. So that is funny. Uh, Bree says to the outlet that Nick Cannon is not her baby daddy or sorry, her sugar daddy and that she takes care of herself. And if her son needs something or if we need something, I can ask. That's all I have to do. I know he's a good dad and Nick is not my sugar daddy. Nick is not the reason that I'm where I'm at. He's none of these things. It's stupid. I can make crazy money by myself. I can carry my lifestyle, which is not cheap. I can carry my child and my own S-H-I-T. So at this point, I'm wondering, okay, um, like, what is, like, what do you get out of joining this harem? Is it kind of more of like a sperm bank situation where you just want to kid by this man and you don't expect him to actually like, you know, be present emotionally or anything like that or financially? Like, she basically says that she takes care of the kid by herself and like, if she asked him, he would do X, Y, or Z. It's not something that he's doing on his own or even offering to do or like taking the initiative to make sure he's doing on a monthly basis. So to me, I don't know. I find that to be dusty and I find that to be a shame. I don't like when people are like, oh, just because I make money, you know, I make money. So like I can let that guy off the hook. I don't want to seem like I'm this or I'm that. You know what I mean? Like you deserve that child support, girl. You carry that child. You push that child out. That child is half his DNA. He decided to have the child with you. Make his pockets hurt. Tell him to run you your money. Money by Monday, Nick. You know, like, I don't know. I don't like when people, well, when women brag about not taking child support. You deserve the child support. Actually, more so than you, your child deserves the child support, you know? And so I would love for all these baby mamas to form a union, <laughs> head to the courthouse, and get this man on that damn child support. Talk about, oh, come ask me when you need something. Listen, children need things every day. So you should at least have some kind of minimum weekly, monthly stipend going out to these women. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. You guys let me know what you think. What would you do if you were minding your own business and you open up the Us Weekly magazine and find out that your lawyer very professionally called you a whole ass fool? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. Don't forget to check out my Selling Sunset recaps as well. Take care, guys.